then? Uh, mic's working? Awesome. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I'm Helena, as Hannah said. I'm co-founder with my husband, Simon, of True Start Coffee. And I'm mega excited to be talking to you guys today about how True Start is shaking up the coffee industry. We're making a splash using a unique health-centric approach and absolutely tons of positive energy to break into a very traditional market that until now has been absolutely dominated by established giants. So I'll share a bit about our journey and then I'll stick around after to have a chat and, and I'd love to answer any questions because that's always my favorite bit. Um, does that sound good? Okay, amazing. So, so who, who on earth a true star? Well, we make absolutely delicious, healthy coffee to make you feel amazing. So we have a whole range of incredible specialty craft coffees, from barista-grade instant coffees to exceptional air-roasted beans and ground coffees, coffee bags, and even cold brew drinks. But the most important thing for you guys to know about us is the reason that we exist on this planet, which is to use our incredible coffee. I'm, not, I'm obviously biased. Our coffee comes from where I used to live in Colombia, and I'm like, it's the best coffee in the world. But we're all about using it as a vehicle for spreading massive and genuine contagious positive energy and making people feel amazing and it sounds kind of cheesy but I like to think that we're making the world feel healthier and happier one cup at a time and bringing some proper vibrancy and much needed innovation to a category that that desperately needs it so true start we're an ethical family-run business, very proudly certified carbon negative, and also a B Corp, which means we're con committed to tangible and continuous improvement. And we have high standards for our social and environmental performance. We are massively passionate about contributing to the society that we are part of through better business, better health, and better knowledge. It's Almost nine years, um, which to me is quite unbelievable. It's simultaneously five minutes and also my whole life all at the same time. But it's almost nine years since Simon and I founded the business, relentlessly building our brand by word of mouth at sports events up and down the country. And I'm really proud that based on our current year-on-year -year growth, True Start is one of the fastest growing food and drink brands in the UK after nine years, which I'm really proud of. So we're available. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're available in about 2,000 retail outlets like Co-op Nationwide and, and online like Ocado, for example, as well as an Amazon bestseller. And even, I will tell anyone who will listen this fact, we are even enjoyed by the royal household who drink our coffee, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Like them or not, it's quite cool. So <laughs> True Start has gone from an idea to launching a running event in 2015 to where we are today, which is a true challenger. And we've been on a heck of a journey um, to get here. There are nine years um, between these photos. And as you can see, we've stuck to who we are at our very core. We love to spread massive positive energy and make people feel good about themselves. I believe it really is still only the beginning where we're at as a brand. But along the way so far, I've learned that there are three kind of things that underpin our journey so far. And they're things that can't be bought. First, authenticity. And this is maybe an overused word, isn't it? But remaining true to your originality just can't be underestimated. That original idea, it's what you actually care about. <laughs> so doubling down on what makes you different and not diluting that difference because people tell you no, which they definitely do all the time, or because you think, that hair dryer, hair dryer, hand dryer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so not diluting your difference because you think you need broader appeal, I think is really important, but also being able to do that in a way that also incorporates listening to feedback from the community that you're part, part of so that you can ultimately improve what you do. I think that is gold. 
Second, we've got authenticity and consistency. Continually banging on about our core promise to our loyal customers and continually having a very high level of attention to detail in our customer service is how we've built trust over nine years. So authenticity, consistency, and total commitment to this belief that we will disrupt this ridiculously traditional market and prove that there is a better way. And if we rewind to 10 years ago, that is when Simon and I had the original idea for True Start, for a coffee that was delicious but also good for you. And um, we thought we were busy, so this is before we had the business, it's also before we had our children, so maybe in hindsight we weren't quite as busy as we thought we were, we definitely thought we were busy, and we were training for um, an Ironman triathlon, and this was like a really big deal for me, I had never done anything like it before, and I would always have uh, coffee before training, and I was also driving a lot with my job, so I used to work in software sales, which meant a, a lot more coffee, and I had this one customer who was like a three hour drive from my house and I always had meetings there at nine o'clock in the morning so I'd rock up first thing already exhausted and they had in their atrium a large chain coffee shop who will remain nameless and I used to just down a massive latte and I've got all these memories of being in that building like sweating in meetings and having heart palpitations <laughs> um, so I know it sounds um, strange for someone who now has a coffee business, but I'm actually really quite sensitive to caffeine. And I was noticing that sometimes I'd have a coffee and I'd feel really jittery, and then other times I'd have a coffee and it felt like it really didn't do anything. And because we were so into nutrition as part of our training, we started to look into it. We started to look into coffee, caffeine, what it actually does to our brains and bodies, how much of it we should be drinking, because there are loads of benefits to drinking like real quality coffee, but we discovered something genuinely mind-blowing. It's a bit more well-known now, but 10 years ago this was new information, that the caffeine level in a regular cup of coffee is totally unregulated and varies wildly. And you can legitimately, in a cup, be drinking anywhere from 30 milligrams, which isn't very much, it's kind of cup of tea territory, to over 600. And that is the genuine extent of the variation. There was me thinking, oh, it's because I haven't had enough breakfast today. No, it's the caffeine. And we were genuinely shocked. That is like going to the supermarket, buying a bottle of wine, not knowing if it's 4% or 40% and just cracking on anyway, which I don't think many people would be okay with. And we just thought, surely we're not the only people in the world who think a reliably caffeinated coffee doesn't just taste great, but also makes you feel great with no crash, no jitters. Surely this is a great idea. Why has no one done it before? Um, it turns out it's not easy to do. <laughs> um, there are more than 20 variables that ultimately impact the caffeine in your coffee. Things that are quite obvious, I guess, like the type of bean, but also the rainfall on a crop, the type of soil it's grown in. All of these things make a difference. So we spent a year learning everything we could about coffee. We had no background in it at all. And we developed a really selective sourcing process but for the first time ever, took into consideration those variables. And more importantly, we developed a very rigorous testing process to bring to market the first, and unbelievably, nine years later, TrueStart is still the only coffee on the market with a stabilized, reliable, naturally like known level of caffeine, so you feel good with, with no bad side effects. And I spent some time living in Colombia, I was lucky enough to do that, as part of my degree, and that is where the vast majority of our coffee comes from. And the careful sourcing and testing means that not only does the coffee taste exceptional, not only is it super high quality, but it's also clean and it's beneficial to your health. So we test it to make sure there are no heavy metals, no mycotoxin molds, no pesticide residue. These are all things that are present in the big kind of generic brands. And 
Even more excitingly, there are more antioxidants in a cup of True Start than in a cup of green tea, which I think is cool because I think it tastes much better than green tea, but you know, each to their own. <laughs> but day one launching the brand um, was Simon and I and our families, it was like total overkill, in a field near Taunton, so we're based in Bristol, with about 20 grumpy runners that were running this really small to really badly organized 10K race. It was gray and drizzly and everyone was honestly so miserable. So we rocked up with like a big tent and speakers and music blaring and we were handing out shots of true start like have an awesome race have an awesome race and then and people kind of came bouncing back they did their run came bouncing back oh my god I got a personal best this is PB coffee and like skipped off back to their car and um, I think I probably have rose tinted like memories <laughs> of that day but we did obviously get our first customers but more importantly we saw firsthand the genuine meaningful impact that you can have on someone's day with like a barrage of positive energy and obviously a cup of true start. And spreading that energy quickly became addictive and making people feel good was our thing. Over the first three years, we were at several events a week. We would email in and pick up the phone to like small event organizers and ask if we could come along and bring some extra energy, dishing out delicious true starts to, to people, you know, super loyal fans across the country uh, quite quickly. And we quickly became known and loved as the go-to coffee in the fitness world, particularly in like endurance. Um, people started to smile when they recognized us at the start line. And the events that we uh, went to got bigger and bigger. Then a couple of years before the pandemic, we had an amazing opportunity to open up our own coffee shop inside a big office block, the biggest office block in Bristol, actually, and cool co-working space. And things were really starting to take off when COVID came along. And like so many others, everything that we had worked so hard to achieve was just flattened overnight. We lost 95% of our revenue and had to start again. But in hindsight, it was kind of the rebirth of True Start and was ultimately great for us. But at the time, it did not feel like that. We did find the energy somehow to do exactly that and start again. I think when you love what you're doing, although it's extremely hard work and there are very tough days, you do have this like drive to keep going. And it showed me that you can dig so much deeper than you ever thought was possible. So we turned our coffee shop into a warehouse. Um, and me, my husband Simon, with a lovely lockdown, he looks nothing like that now, lockdown hairdo, <laughs> um, our baby and our toddler, we practically moved in. Um, this is Simon and baby Arthur moving a pallet of packed up boxes that we were sending to Frontline Heroes, actually, in that, in that first lockdown. And true start flew online during lockdown, we became the number one best-selling instant coffee on Amazon in lockdown. There are more than 30,000 coffee products on Amazon, and that was just such a huge, thank you, such a huge milestone for us. We hustled, I mean, hustle wasn't even the word. I look back and I'm like, how? Where did we get the energy from with the kids? But we did do it, hustled away, and we completely reshaped the business because our exceptional healthy coffee products, this genuinely caring customer service and people wanted connection. And we have never let a single customer feel that we didn't care. I'm obsessed with that. And our relentless optimism, I think, really landed in this new world, a world that like desperately needed it. True Start has gone from strength to strength since the pandemic, from coverage in the grocer to full page ads in the metro, it's our brand manager being the model in it as well, which is amazing, to collaborative products with epic brands like Hunter and Gather and Marshfield Farm Ice Cream, to a national partnership with Mental Health Swims, and we are even DeLonghi's coffee partner at Park Run nationwide. Events and creating a community is absolutely core to who we are. It does take time, it takes a long time, especially on a shoestring, but we are feeling this really awesome groundswell now because 
we don't have the budgets to chuck 100 grand a month at Facebook ads. We just don't. So we need to create like real feeling. Um, and my favorite quote of all time, and one that the team are possibly bored of, because I literally say it on a weekly basis, <laughs> is one by a poet called Maya Angelou. And she said, people will forget what you said, and they will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And that's really how we live at True Start with every interaction. And th through a refusal to give up, and an obsession with making people feel great, we have built TrueStart into a resilient and high growth business that brings happiness into people's daily lives. Um, but more than that, and what I'm possibly most proud of, is that we are disrupting a traditional market to prove that there is a better way. In the UK alone, instant coffee, just instant coffee, is worth over one billion pounds. And we're using genuine innovation and community-driven marketing to give Megacorp a run for their money. The big boys who dominate the coffee industry have been profiteering from their prices for so long due to a complete lack of competition. High prices for low quality. And the food industry, like so many other industries in this country is completely broken um, and it's dominated by a handful of the largest corporations in the world who own huge proportions of the shelf space in every supermarket. It doesn't matter if it's coffee or cereal or like even cat food. In the UK, 85% of supermarket shelf space, so 85% of that one billion pounds is owned by just two companies Neither of them are UK-based. They take our money in return for low-quality products that make us less healthy. They take that money offshore, and unbelievably, we don't even tax it in this country. And meanwhile, our public services are on their knees. And TrueStar is flattening the value chain in coffee to make it fairer for everyone and give back to this community that we are part of. So, so what does that mean? Well, right now, the major players, they take the lion's share. So farmers are underpaid. Those who sell the coffee, so the retailers, unbelievably, make very little margin. And the end customer who's drinking the coffee is often paying a really high price for actually quite a crap quality product. With True Start, our farmers are paid more than the benchmark fair trade price. Our retailers receive what they deserve for the work they do. And the end customer pays a better price for a better tasting and more ethical product. Breaking the monopoly and absolute dominance of big food and their power over our brains, our bodies and our economy is something that we are particularly passionate about at True Start. These companies have an existential requirement to make as much money as they can, as quickly as they can, you know, pushing kind of high volumes of very low quality products. And that comes at the expense of people, our health, and our planet where we live. Our ambitions for True Start are massive, and they're very long term, so we're building a truly loved family brand that I want to become an iconic household name. And ultimately, I want True Start to be around for longer than I am as like living proof that you can use business as a force for good. And I want my children and any, every kid um, to look at True Start and go, well, if my parents, if they can do that with no knowledge or experience, <laughs> um, just sheer determination, a love of learning, and a ton of positive energy, then I can do anything. I can make my mark, and I don't have to accept things the way they are. And that is what, what I want True Start to do for everyone. And when co-op, we're the first national retailer to give us a chance. 
one lowly facing, literally on the wrong shelf, um, was all we needed. And one year later, Truth Start looks like this, an epic brand block with eight facings jumping off the shelf in a very beige fixture. And we're upgrading offices up and down the country too. So no longer do you have to put up with this situation at work. There are now 200,000 people drinking True Start in their workplace every day. And I've learned that there is a difference between emerging funky categories where there is loads of relatively sudden excitement and noise and it's at the start of a hype cycle, do you know what I mean? And there's loads of competition between lots of often well-funded startups for who is going to ultimately emerge as the category leader in that new category. That's versus disrupting a traditional market, which is a long-term commitment because it takes years. There are fewer shortcuts and investors, especially big money and VCs, are less interested because there's too much competition with the major players and it's not some like funky mushroom elixir <laughs> as well. Challengers need to love challenging the status quo and have an unwavering belief to this idea and an approach that is just totally different to how people have thought about that category since time began. If you take milk, which is super traditional really when you think about it, I saw a talk by the founder of Oatly, and it was titled The 30-Year Overnight Success, which I loved, because I'm sure most people don't realize quite how long they've been going. But can you, can you imagine peddling oat milk 30 years ago? People must have thought this guy had absolutely lost the plot. Um, but really, he was just thinking about milk in a new way. And it felt, it felt like that when we started talking about healthy coffee and caffeine control nine years ago. Only a sporting niche like really got it, but now I'm being interviewed on like breakfast news about caffeine variability and people care about what they're putting into their bodies and so they should. At True Start, we're putting the shopper in control of how they feel for the first time. And our first ever very awful packaging <laughs> said, unleash yourself on it, which is so cheesy. Um, but it is so true. And still now, it's how we've always wanted True Start to make people feel like unleashed, free to be themselves. And whilst we've got a lot better, I think, at communicating it over the years, that message definitely still stands through every single interaction we have, both online and in real life. That's our biggest challenge as we scale, being obsessed with creating those like moments of, of connection, authenticity, consistency, total commitment. Someone said to me recently that truly innovative businesses are like cockroaches. Whatever you throw at them, they just won't die. I loved it. And it, it's because the founders and the teams have got this absolute conviction, resolve, and like sheer determination to make it happen. And that is definitely what I feel True Start has. We're not just hoping, but actively demonstrating that when positive energies like determination and passion meet purpose, boundaries really can be shattered doesn't matter how traditional that market might be. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I'm really honored to be here and I really appreciate you guys coming along. Um, please give us a follow at True Start Coffee. We get to all, up to all sorts, so please get involved. I'm also on LinkedIn. Helena Hills, if you want to connect. And most importantly, my team are here in the beach area with Sunny, which is our True Start truck. It's the most popular member of the team, because it's quite a cool truck. Um, giving out True Start for everybody to enjoy today. So go out and chill out with those guys. The team are amazing. So go and, go and you know, enjoy a True Start for yourself. But thank you very much. Thank you.